I don't know about you guys, but I do not care much for Sennheiser's very, very tiny and pretty much proprietary 2.5 millimeter jacks. So I decided to fix that myself. So the first thing you gotta do is remove that, obviously. And the unscrew cover to get to the inside of it. And inside here, I've already removed it, but I'll show it to you in just a moment. Where's that flashlight? There it is. Inside there, right where the little circuit board is, right here, you'll find this thing. This is the little sort of hook that the uh, cable latches onto when you when you twist it to prevent you from just tugging it out. It's onto that. Pull that out, and you can put any kind of 2.5 millimeter jet that you want. Now there aren't many of it, many of it like that available, and I don't like the solution. So what I did. I got this thing, this cheap little thing. I think it was on Amazon for like a, like a buck or something to change. And it's a 2.5 to 3.5 adapter. I stuck it in there, and it fits perfectly, almost as though it was designed like that. Only problem is though, the adapter actually sucks. The uh, left and right channels kept fizzing out, and it just was not. It all working the way I wanted it to. If I moved my head just a little bit, it would cause crackling. It's a piece of crap. So I went looking for other ones, and I found this one. It's actually built very well, but it's a little bit larger than the other one. As you can see, although it is much higher quality, it actually does how what it's supposed to do. Only problem though is that I couldn't get it to fit, cause it's too big. Well. I uh, went a little further and uh, found out that you can actually just this little silver part, this part, you can actually just push it out because it's just glued in there a little bit. And that fits perfectly. So you can put whatever standard 3.5 millimeter jack you want, even this thing, which is what I wanted. Perfect. Even swivels. I'll link this in the uh, description. Enjoy.